Hello everyone, I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Hosanna David. I want to remind us once more about the return of the Lord that is so soon. Jesus Christ is coming back again. This is a call for urgency and for self-examination. What I want to talk about today is a reminder, but I want to focus on the way we worship God. A lot of people think that they can worship God the way they want. Uh, John chapter 4, verse 22, following Jesus Christ encountered the Samaritan woman, and he was telling the woman, you worship what you don't know, but we worship what we know. Salvation is from the Jew. And the time is now that the true worshipers were not worship just on this mountain, but the true worshipers of God are going to worship Him in spirit and in truth. For such worshipers, those that the Father actually seek. God determines the way He should be worshipped. If you read the book of Genesis, we see how God was revealing Himself to people, and He actually demands for the pattern of worship. Uh, while he when he revealed himself to his children in Exodus, he brought out the laws, even the temple where he should be worshipped. God determined, he, he, he determined how the, the measurement of everything, the measurement of every single thing, the dressing of the priests and everything, including how the sacrifices should be offered. Today, many people want to worship God the way they want. They read the Bible, that means for those who even care to read the Bible. They read the Bible and interpret it the way they want it interpreted. A lot of Christians feel that God is an idol where after buying it, you put it in, in a corner of your house and you it, it take the flesh and give it bones. For those of you who are not Africans, you may not understand. But in Africa here where a lot of people worship People worship idols, especially in uh, the, the past few decades. People worship idols, they give bones to, when you enter a shrine, when you see a shrine, even from afar, you see the bones shining. Don't believe that the bones belong to the idols. So people feel that that is how God is, that you we choose the way we worship God. No, you don't choose the way you worship God. Jesus Christ is coming for those who serve him in spirit and in truth. Your service, your worship must be according to the truth and it has to be in the spirit. God is not coming for a kind of church. God is not coming for people who choose the way God should be worshipped. Any God that is worshipped the way the worshippers uh, dictates that one is not a God. You can dictate how God should be worshipped. I want to remind you and also tell you in case you don't know. The church is a kingdom. The church is not a religious organization the way so many people portray it. The church is not a, an empire of a general overseer. No. The church is not a branch of an empire of any human uh, human church authority. No. The church is a kingdom of God on earth. It is when we get baptized, when we repent, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, we are admitted into the body of Christ, the spiritual body of Christ, which is the church. And from that moment, we start living the life of the kingdom. And continue in the doctrine and in the teachings of the apostle. Jesus Christ said, go ye into the world and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them and teach them to observe all things. So if you are in the kingdom and you don't want to persist, you don't want to continue in the doctrines of the apostle, you want to break the foundations down and raise your own foundation and tell people, and also tell yourself, detect to people how God should be worshipped and not, not according to the stipulated way that God has said, this is how I want to be worshipped. You are a worker of iniquity. And the Lord will say to you on the last day, 
Depart from me, you work out of iniquity. God is not an idol. He is a holy God. The Bible says that the foundation of the, of the Lord standeth sure. Let everyone who named the name of Christ depart from evil. It has this seal. It is a seal that if you are my worshiper, you and you call on my name, you call on the name of Christ, this is a seal. It has been sealed. You, you need to understand it. It has this seal. Let everyone who nameth the name of Christ depart from evil. If you go to church half naked, you are a worker of iniquity and Jesus Christ is not coming for you. When Jesus, Jesus promised us that I am coming back to, I am going to prepare a place for you. And I will come to receive you to myself. He has gone to prepare a place for us. And he is coming back in the rapture. And within a twinkle of an eye, those whose garments are made white, we go to him in the clouds to greet him in the air. The church is sleeping. A lot of Christians are sleeping. Please wake up. Wake up. Majority of Christians, we end up in hell. Majority of Christians are going to end up in hell because a lot of them choose the way they want to serve God. Even some pastors now know that if you serve God, if you preach the truth, many people are not going to sow seed into your life. They are not going to give you money. Many people are not going to support you. And you are not going to be, uh, you are not going to have many followers, those who will attend your church. So you know what they do? They turn water into the loss of God and dilute it. They turn water, dilute it, and tell the people, come as you are and remain as you are. But I tell you the truth that the Lord Jesus Christ is angry and he is coming to pay all those who deceive people. We don't need to choose the way we worship God. He has told us rightly that this is, I am a holy God and all my children must be holy. Be ye holy in all your conversation. <coughs> Excuse me. For without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. If you worship in an unholy way, you will not see him. I even advise you, why don't you sit at home instead of going to church to seduce people, instead of causing confusion among the body of Christ? For calling yourself a Christian, and for claiming to have known the truth, the Lord is going to judge you. Remember, every believer is a preacher. Anytime you carry your Bible or anytime you fill a form and you say you identify with Christianity, from that moment, people start looking into your life. And whatsoever thing you do is a gospel already. Unfortunately, a lot of people are preaching bad news instead of good news with their character. Action speaks louder than the voice. Communication, uh, a school of thought says 15% is verbal communication and the rest of it is non-verbal communication. Another school of thought says no, just 7% is 7 is verbal communication and 93% is non-verbal communication. So wh whichever way, what we say has very little effect on the world. They are looking at our character. They are looking at our behavior. They are looking at how we relate with our neighbor. So for calling yourself a Christian and you are living a contrary life, Jesus Christ is going to hold you accountable because Muslims are watching you. Pagans are watching you. New converts are watching you. And if you claim to have known the truth, but you are not living out the truth, if you believe a lie and you are living a life of lies and claim to have been in Christ, you have no fellowship in him at all because God is light. If we say we have fellowship with him, but live in darkness, but continue in the works of darkness, we lie. Share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not. Ego Eye Opener and visit my websites egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Once again, I am Hosanna Devi. Thank you. Pray for me even as I pray for you. Bye-bye.